Happy Halloween! Fortnite Mares is here, and we have a new limited time game mode, Storm King. Your goal in this game mode is to defeat the Storm King by shooting at his weak points when they appear. Once you've taken out his weak points, you'll then have to take out his horns. You'll unlock a new medal in your punch card when you destroy the first horn, and after destroying that you'll go through some waves, then you take out his second horn, and finally the Storm King will be glowing yellow, and this is where you can damage him at any point, and when his hit points hit zero, he'll be defeated, and you'll have won. Sounds easy enough, but this game is a lot harder than you would think, and the first game I won lasted about 17 minutes. And it took me a few attempts before I could figure out a reliable method for winning in this game mode, and I know a lot of players are struggling too. Hi, I'm Cram, and in this video, I want to share with you some useful information I wish I knew before I started playing the Storm King mode. This should help you get the Nightmare Royale and unlock the new Storm Sail Umbrella a little easier. My first tip is to avoid the beam attack at all costs. This is the most dangerous attack the Storm King has, and it's like a laser that does a ton of damage and fires in a straight line. It even shoots through your builds, so don't even try to protect yourself with those, just run. The beam attack is the number one way the players will die in the Storm King game mode. When you see the Storm King charge in his laser, you'll know roughly what direction it's going, and then it's time for you to get out of the way fast if he's looking at you. There are storm vents on the island, and you can use those to get around quickly. I recommend that you always be positioned near one, because they've saved my life more times than you would think. It is actually possible to survive the beam attack, even if you get hit, but you're going to need to be at full health and shield, so make sure you look for shields and top up with medkits throughout the game, because even if you're paying attention to the Storm King, you're eventually going to get hit by a beam. And the beam is not even the only attack the Storm King has at his disposal, and there are a few more things he has, and here are some ways you can survive them. So he has the spin attack. This doesn't do any damage, but it will destroy any player built structures, and it can knock you back, so make sure you're not built too high up when you see this attack coming. And later on in the game mode, the Storm King will start to summon large rocks that fall from the sky. These will do damage to you if they land on your head, of course, but you can avoid damage by building some floors above you. The second tip I have is to revive your teammates. So the Storm King is an LTM you play with squads, and I recommend you select Phil when you're queuing up, even if you don't like playing with other players. You can turn off voice chat in your sound settings if you don't want to hear or communicate with anyone on your team, and it's worth playing with some friends if you have any online so you can communicate with them. And even if you go into Battle of the Storm King without friends, you really do have to revive your team because you're not going to defeat him alone. You see, the more players you have, the more damage you can do to the Storm King when his weak points appear, and more players will also help take care of the zombies. Remember, in Fortnite Chapter 2, you can pick up down teammates and then you can throw them into safety. This is helpful if one of your teammates gets blown back into the storm because you can throw them back in and then revive them. Make sure you build around them so the zombies can't get to you. And you can also carry them onto a storm vent to get them further away from any danger. I was surprised when I was playing this game mode about how many players would immediately run to me when I got downed. I thought I would be left for dead because I couldn't communicate with anyone, but it looks like the people that are playing this game have already a good understanding of what you need to be doing to win. And to drive home how important your teammates are in the Storm King game mode, I won my first game because of my team as I died earlier on. Tip number three is to make use of every item you have. You'll notice in the Storm King game mode there are items that aren't there in the normal Battle Royale game mode. The loot pool was totally stripped back but there is healing items like slurp juices and chug splashes in the Storm King game mode, and then there's traps like the campfires and the mounted turret. The mounted turret is really good in this game mode because it does 40 damage for every shot, and it doesn't use ammo. You want to make sure the structure you've built is robust enough so the zombies can't knock you down though. And you want to wait for the Storm King spin attack because it will destroy all your structures, including your turret, so you don't want to waste it. 
Another thing to bear in mind if you're using the turret is that you'll be completely stationary, so set it up near a bounce pad or a vent so you can escape if a beam attack is coming for you. Tip number four is to not underestimate the zombies. You know your goal to, is to defeat the Storm King by damaging his weak points and then his horns, and you should be attacking the weak points whenever you can, but often you won't be in the optimal position or you won't be able to even hit the weak points, and that's okay because you can still make good use of your time by taking care of the zombies. You'll notice later on the Storm King will start to summon spawn crystals for the zombies, and I recommend you attack these instead of the zombies. You see, when you destroy the spawn crystals, it'll stop the zombies from spawning, and when you destroy the spawn crystals, you'll get a lot of great loot too. Of course, the zombies themselves can drop a lot of useful items, such as ammo, and ammo is really important in this game mode because you're going to be shooting a lot. So it may be useful to turn on auto pickup items in your Fortnite settings, so you don't have to manually pick them up and risk ruining the layout of your inventory. But as you don't gain any health or shield from killing zombies like you would in the Battle Royale mode, don't spend too much time farming zombies when you could be doing more useful things to help your team and win the game. Now I want to talk about, is the Storm King LTM even worth playing? I think yes, because you can earn a surprising amount of XP from the Storm King game mode, and it's comparable to the Battle Royale mode. You see you get XP from killing zombies, and you earn medals from destroying the Storm, uh, the Storm King's horn, and this XP really starts to add up, and it helps to get your battle pass to tier 100. The real reason, however, for playing the Storm King mode is the new Storm Sail Umbrella. I think it looks really cool, and I'm using it with the Dream Skin and the Glyph's Contrail. You can also unlock the King's Wrath Spray and a new banner that I don't really care too much about. Did I enjoy the Storm King mode? No, not really, and not because I thought it was a bad game mode, but I just really don't like PvE, player versus environment, horde type game modes and I wasn't playing with any friends, so perhaps that was a factor. I play Fortnite because it's a PvP, player versus player, battle royale game with building, and I've just never been a fan of how Fortnite have implemented zombies. The way they've had them this year in the battle royale mode is quite interesting though, that they jump out randomly from houses and it's quite scary. I thought Fortnite was supposed to be a kid's game, but I'm going a little bit on a tangent here, and that's because I've ran out of all the knowledge I have about the Storm King mode. It's really straightforward, just run around, survive, and shoot the weak points, keep your teammates alive, get the good weapons, collect ammo, and you're gonna get that Nightmare Royale and the new Storm Sail Umbrella. Believe me, keep at it, and you'll be able to do it. I hope you found this guide helpful, please like the video, and subscribe to me to see more Fortnite content. Thank you for watching, peace.